kicks. Go. Yeah, turn it on. Go. Heel kicks back. Go. Go. Real quick. Bear crawl to the line and move over. Bear crawls down. Ready? Says go. Go. We imagine he's running this way. He'd be what we call one of the three different ball placements would be, so he's running this way, our support men are coming from this way, what we call a pencil, all right? Nice, long, and straight. What we really want to do is make sure that everything's core and aligned. The tighter we get his feet, the tighter we get his hands and arms, and everything else in here. What does that mean here? What is this situation here? What is this really small? Small gate, right? Can I come in here to attack the ball? No, where do I have to come in? Right here. So we've got a number of steps to this. This is the best position you can get yourself in in terms of um, in terms of ball placement. Why would you say that is? What? Why does? It, why is this the best position? Furthest from the defense, right? Three or four steps for us to get to where we want to be. All right, and it gives us the advantage at all times. When we have the ball, we want to give our team the advantage. We want to give my support players the best chance of being able to get over this ball and ultimately retain the ball. You just got to try without the ball? No. Right? Okay, you have to have the ball. So, next one we're going to do is what I call a staple. This is your old school traditional. Okay, so this is old school side on, ball placement. He's got his hands over his head. He's worried about getting rocked. What's the situation here? What are we looking at here? White gate. So how can we fix this real simple one to straighten that up to make it to make it cool? Pull his feet in. So bring his feet in and help him. He's going to do this. Now what else can he do with his hands to make this look a little better? Place it all the way out. Get two hands on the ball. Place it beyond his feet as best he can. Get his torso all the way out. And what's he done here is make the gate for half the width. Okay, so we call that one the staple. We often find this is the most common one in the game it's just because what well, a lot of us grew up playing is going to the ground, turning side on, placing the ball back. The last one is laying the egg between the ball and the squeeze ball. Okay, so he's going to put the ball back between, ball, between his legs there. Now this one has a number of positives and negatives. The positives are is that it secures the ball in a pretty good position for us when we're caught in a very awkward position of what we want to do. Right? There's a lot of tackles in us and we're just going to get the ball back anyhow we want. The key that we want to make sure we do to make this work in the letter of the law is just make the ball available immediately. So I can't have it underneath my chest and hold it there for one, two seconds and then try and lay the ball back. He's got to immediately do that. So the best way to do that, I'm going to jump in. Right? If I go to ground here, I immediately drive my hips down in and over the top and I've made the ball immediately available. And by getting the ball all the way back here, Close to where my half back is. The other part we want to make sure so everybody sees when we're going down like that, so we turn our head side on. So what happens if someone tackles me and my head's on like this? It's going to go in. So we're going to be side on, so my face slides through, and I'm going through with the tackle and I'm able to control it. Does everybody understand that? Three different times. So I call them staple, pencil, lay in the egg. We're going to be in two groups. Does everybody see? One grid here will have the older kids, the old boys there. The ones are going to be yes. Pencil, pencil, pencil! Up you go, up you go, and again, nice. Let's drop one more. Yes, yes, yes. Lay the egg, lay the egg, lay the egg. Over, over, over. Lay the egg. Good, good, good. Make sure we're securing over the ball, 